Hello everyone, I am Engine Cadet Barcelona. Welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about boiler systems. So, boiler is a pressure vessel that is used to generate steam to provide heating to the main diesel engine propulsion to the bunker fuel oil. Boiler has three different systems. The fuel oil system, the fuel water system, and the steam service system. We will do diagram tracing in order to deeply understand the process of uh, generating steam by the use of boiler. We have here the fuel oil system diagram. Marine boilers burn residual low-grade fuels. This fuel is stored in double bottom tanks, which is drawn by a transfer pump up to settling tanks. Here, any water in the fuel may settle out and be drained away. The high pressure fuel is supplied to a burner, which it leaves as an atomized spray. The burner also rotates the fuel droplets and this leaves the burners and passes into the furnace. The oil from settling tank is filtered and pumped to a heater and then through a fine filter. Heating the oil reduces its viscosity and makes it easier to pump and filter. This heating must be carefully controlled or otherwise cracking or breakdown of fuel may take place. And now let's do the diagram tracing. This fuel oil system diagram that I am presenting is my laboratory output and it seems to be complicated. So let's draw a simplified fuel oil system diagram. So this is the simplified fuel oil system diagram. We have here the fuel oil tank. Fuel oil tank serves as storage of the fuel oil. And we have here the fuel oil service pump. Fuel oil service pump is responsible for pumping out the fuel oil. And the fuel will flow through the pipe to the flow meter. And the purpose of flow meter is to measure the fuel consumption and after the measuring of fuel consumption the fuel will proceed to the electric heater and the purpose of electric heater is for heating the fuel oil before it enters the boiler so in this diagram it shows here that we have the, a common line to the return line these two valves is the solenoid valve and the relief valve so mainly we use the solenoid valve in relieving the excess pressure 
and in case of emergency the solenoid valve is damaged we have the backup valve here the relief valve in case of emergency the solenoid valve is damaged we have the backup valve here also known as the relief valve relief valve also helps to relieve excess pressure return to the fuel oil tank and we have here the return fuel oil pipe so it is after the flow meter so that the return the returning fuel will not be measured in the fuel oil meter and now let's move on to the feed water system feed water system these four components comprises of a cyclic process that starts from the formation of high pressure highly compressed steam by the boiler the high temperature steam goes to the turbine where it operates the turbine and comes out in the form of exhausted low energy steam this low energy steam goes to the condenser where it gets converted to water the feed pump pumps this water back to the boiler and the cycle repeats itself additional learnings there are two types of boiler feed system the open feed system and the closed feed system the differences between the two boiler feed systems the open feed system has a contact in the atmosphere or it is open while the closed feed system has no contact to the atmosphere it means it is pressurized so we have here the feed water system diagram just here the feed water tank the hot well the condenser the steam services or the steam consumers the main feed pump auxiliary feed pump feed heater and the boiler we also have here the feed regulator let us start here in feed water tank so the main feed pump will pump out the liquid and the liquid will flow through the pipe and proceed to the feed heater so the purpose of feed heater is for heating the feed water before it enters the boiler to minimize the fuel oil consumption and we have here the auxiliary feed pump this serves as a backup pump in case of emergency the main feed pump is having trouble you can automatically close or shut off this pump, this pump and use the auxiliary feed pump to continue the process of generating steam and here in the boiler after heating the feed water it generates steam so we have here the main steam valve <coughs> and this is the main steam pipeline which is connected to the steam services or the steam consumers we have uh, fuel oil heating diesel engine heating and, uh, steam turbine and etc so after the steam consumers we have a return line that is connected to the condenser so the purpose of the condenser is to convert the low pressure steam into water and after the low pressure steam is converted into water the water will proceed to the hot well and when the hot well is full in case of overflow the water will proceed to the feed water tank and the cycle will repeat itself additional a little trivia 
specification of feed water hardness should not be less than 0.2 parts per million caustic alkalinity should be between 0.15 parts per million and 0.45 parts per million soda alkalinity should be between 0.45 to 1 parts per million and the feed water should be free from turbidity sediments organic matter oil and grease we have here the steam system diagram i already discussed how the boiler generates steam and its process or the flow of the steam into the steam services or the consumers and back to the condenser and return to the feed water tank here we have the boiler after the boiler generates steam the steam generated will proceed to the steam mainline so the impurities of steam will be trapped here in the condensed drainage system the superheated steam will proceed in the, the steam line we have here the vacuum steam or also known as the saturated steam we have here also the condensed drainage system it is all connected to the condensate and return to the feed water tank and it is pumped out and returned to the boiler 